When skippers are out at sea on their own, one thing they are guaranteed to meet is severe weather. And I'm going to speak to all of the skippers to find out just how scared they get. Préoccupé, oui. Peur, non. It's not a question of scare, but uh, it's a question of uh, strategy and uh, reflections. At some point, you, you don't really want to go in there, so you try to avoid the, the worst. Aujourd'hui, on a la chance d'avoir un peu d'information uh, météo, de prévision, tout ça. Donc, uh, voilà. quand je sens pas le truc, j'y vais pas. We are trained to face this weather. You can be scared sometimes, so you have to prepare a lot of boat before. Bernard, are you here? Yes. Hello. Thank you. Can I come on board? Yes, come I'm in. I'm wondering, please. there's some heavy weather forecast. How do you live on the boat when there's very heavy weather? We still do all the manoeuvring outside. It's exactly the same, but everything must be done quickly and as well as possible to be safe. Well, well you say about safety, you don't know what the weather's going to be like on this race yet. If it's very bad, can the race get cancelled? If, if they give the start of the race, normally we have to manage the rough seas and, and, and uh, the, the, the heavy weather. It's part of the, the exercise. Eh? See, some people wouldn't realise that once you've started, that's it, you have to see it through. So it's all about wind management. Can you show me how you actually get the computer and see wind limits and all that sort of thing? We can add a, f a grip file. It shows the weather. On, on this situation, we can really see that this is a low pressure. And if the, if the course goes through here and we have to go there, we have to manage where it's so if you, to go. So if you were doing that, what would the worst part of that be? If it's yellow or red or, or pink, yeah. it's very bad. Okay. It's, if, if it's blue, there is no wind. The, the worst for me is blue. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, Blue. You've got no wind. No wind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever suffer seasickness? Uh, I think everybody has seasickness. Huh? Yeah. It's medical. Well, we heard you say there, Bernard, that you think that everyone suffers from seasickness. We're going to find out if you're right because we've actually spoken to everybody else as well. Here's what the other skippers had to say. I never had mal de mer. I used to have this problem of uh, seasickness. I never got sick. J'ai eu le mal de mer. Euh, jamais très longtemps, jamais très violemment. It never happened to me uh, uh, to, to be sick. Pour l'instant, j'ai jamais eu de mal de mer, j'espère que je n'aurai pas. I could get sick in the first three days, but then I didn't, and uh, then the whole race, I wasn't sick at all. Now I'm going to speak to Betron de Brock. Hello. Maybe you can help answer this. In your career, what's the biggest wave you've seen? Les plus grosses vagues que j'ai euh, vues euh, en, sur ce genre de bateau, euh, c'était lors du Vendée Globe, 4, euh, le, mon premier Vendée Globe, près des, des îles Carielaines, où justement la météo n'était pas forcément aussi précise qu'aujourd'hui. On s'est retrouvé dans une situation de, de vagues euh, très très grosse. Je n'ai pas mesuré, mais c'était au-dessus de 14 mètres, quoi. C'était très gros. Thank you very much, Bertrand. Thanks for letting us on your boat. Yeah, thank you very much. Severe weather can delay the start of a race, but once it's underway, that's it, they have to carry on, that's what we've learned. And I'm sure that despite whatever the conditions, it will not keep the crowds away either. Yeah.